Hi Aries, this reading is for you if you just recently broke up or had a fallout with your significant other. I'll do three spreads. In the first spread, we'll look at the situation, what happened, uh, who left whom and why. Then in the uh, second spread, we'll uh, see what the advice is in regards to the situation we saw in the first spread. And in spread number three, we'll see a new love, a new person coming towards you in the near future. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. Here's the situation, Aries. Uh, we have the Three of Cups, clarified by the Three of Wands, the Three of Swords, uh, the Six of Swords, clarified by the Eight of Cups, and we also have the Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Well, here's the deal, Aries. Uh, if this is not a third-party situation, then I don't know what is. We got three threes. The Three of Cups, the Three of Wands, and the Three of Swords. So there must have been too many cooks in the kitchen. I don't know if you knew, if you didn't know, now you know. Perhaps some of you found out somehow, right? Um, the Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck uh, could have been a card of communication or a card of travel, right? Perhaps somebody told you or you somehow found out or they, um, you know, they told you that they're leaving. Right, and speaking of leaving, we have the Six of Swords clarified by the Eight of Cups right next to the deck. Those two cards even kind of look alike, right? In both of those two cards, we see the person's back, and then the Six of Swords, the person is rowing away uh, in a boat with other people, and then the Eight of Cups, the person is walking away. So, yes, somebody walked away. Could have been you when you found out, or it could have been them uh, deciding to end the, the third party situation and they walked away with them, the other person. The Three of Swords in the middle, yeah, it's, it's a three. It's a card of a broken heart. It's a card of a third party situation. It's a card of uh, feeling stabbed in the back, feeling miserable, feeling betrayed. Alright, so yeah, uh, it's pretty much straight to the point. There is no other way for me to interpret this. Alright, let's take a look at the advice spread real quick. Here's the advice spread for you, Aries. We have uh, the Nine of Swords, Temperance, um, the Four of Swords, clarified by the Tower, and uh, we also have the World on the bottom of the deck. You could have been dealing with uh, Sagittarius or Scorpio, but in general, this spread is talking about healing, and that's actually amplifying the uh, devastation, actually, to be honest with you. The, the first spread only had the Three of Swords, which is plenty to uh, see that you were brokenhearted, but in this uh, spread we, we actually have the Nine of Swords, the Tower, right, and uh, the Four of Swords that the Tower is clarifying is very similar to the Nine of Swords, the first card, right, and both of those two cards uh, there is a person in bed, right, so you must have been really devastated. With the Nine of Swords this is you, all uh, stressed out, can't get out of bed and things like that. I think uh, Temperance is the most important card here. Temperance is all about healing. Okay, it's, uh, I don't think it, that person is coming back. The reason for the advice spread, that every once in a while things get, people get back together, things go back to normal. That's why I do advice for, for everybody, no matter what I see in the first spread, for rare exceptions. But in this case, yeah, the advice for you is to heal. It's, do it's done. It's a done deal. You're wasting your time by still stressing out about this. I know it's easier said than done, but the, the advice for you is to heal with the Temperance card. The World on the bottom of the deck, it's done. This is a card of an ending. But the thing about the World card, I usually interpret it as a card of, um, you know, a happy end. So that means that you have something or someone much, much better coming your way. Okay, and speaking of that, that's exactly what the third spread is about, as I already announced. Um, yeah, let's move on. Spread number three is new love coming towards you in the near future. Here's the third spread. Aries, this is new love coming towards you in the near future. Say a couple of weeks, maybe three weeks. We have the Eight of Pentacles clarified by the Chariot. We have the Sun, the Knight of Cups clarified by the Ten of Cups. And uh, we also have the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a water sign. Uh, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. We also have Leo on the table. I gotta be honest with you, uh, Aries. When I saw the Eight of Pentacles clarified by the chariot, I immediately thought of somebody working on your car, <laughs> right? The Eight of Pentacles is a card of work, business, and finances, and the chariot, if it's not a cancer you're dealing with, because it's uh, the cancer um, major kind of card, if it's not a cancer, then it's a vehicle, all right? Somebody is working on your car, and uh, it could be a planned maintenance, or it could be like a body shop, or say you, you know, driving, you're driving down the road and you get a flat tire. Somebody may stop and help you out, 
right? That's, that's That was the first thing I thought of. For others of you, I think it's still somehow connected or related with the way you make your money, right? The Eight of Pentacles, like I said, is a card of work business and finances or it's a card of diligently working on something. The Chariot, again, could be a Cancer. You could be traveling for work, right? Um, say you go on a business trip or say you go to some kind of a conference, okay? Um, or it could be somebody, if you don't travel for work, perhaps uh, this uh, chariot simply means that um, you guys are going to decide to move forward really, really quickly. All right? So it could be somebody in your gym, because the Eight of Pentacles, this is also a card of somebody who is perfecting, working on something. So if you plan on going to gym, or if you already do, you could be meeting somebody there. Right? Could be a cancer. Uh, but um, yeah, um, this person could be again somehow associated with the way you make your money. Could be working in the same building or something like that. All right, um, perhaps it's uh, somebody coming over from another from a satellite office, uh, right? Um, and uh, the rest is history. The sun um, could be a Leo you're dealing with. The sun is a card of clarity, but most importantly, the sun is the happiest card in the deck. All right, so perhaps you're celebrating, closing a business deal, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, with the Sun card, we always feel loved, we always feel uh, cherished, we always feel on top of the world. Right, then we have the Knight of Cups, classified by the Ten of Cups, and we also have the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. I always like when the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles show up in the same reading. Uh, if you've been listening to me for a while, I always... Uh, point that out. That means that there's a lot of emotions, a lot of love with the Knight of Cups, right? A lot of romance, but at the same time, it's not empty words, right? With the Ace of Pentacles, this person is not only talking the talk, they're walking the walk. As the Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity. This Ace often comes through as a proposal. Okay, if it's not a proposal right away, then it could be in the future. But the Ace of Pentacles always comes from somebody who is ready to settle down, ready to start a family, ready to get serious, and that they will change your life. You know, your life will never be the same. There is a pathway in the right bottom corner of that Ace of Pentacles. This is a pathway to a new life. And um, yeah, the Knight of Cups is the most romantic knight out of all four knights. It could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but um, yeah, it's all about love. Genuine love. The Ten of Cups clarifying uh, the Knight of Cups, that's what they want with you. They want their happily ever after with you. That's what the Ten of Cups is. It's also a card of a family, commitment, marriage, celebration. It's one of the best cards when it comes to emotionally fulfilling relationships or marriages. So things are looking up. Um, perhaps this person has been in your life for a while. Okay, for others of you, not necessarily. Um, yeah. Again, somebody somehow it has something to do with work, business, finances, or somebody working on your car, or travel for work, or something like that, or or a gym. <laughs> if you're thinking about should you renew that gym membership, but uh, yeah, I would <laughs> if I were you. <laughs> All right, so yeah, that's what I have for you, Aries, uh, for this reading. For this uh, month. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And other than that, Aries, have an amazing May.